students welcome to the online lecture session of Seth Vidya Mandir English High School and Junior College of Science and Commerce at Vasai East I Mrs Archana Bhatija here I am dealing with a new inspirational chapter of unit 1 lesson 6 the alchemy of nature for standard 10th students in unit 1 we have dealt with different types of chapters this chapter is written by Raksha Bhardia author of the books all and nothing me a handful of life she has also compiled 13 titles of the chicken soup series she is a founder of a website bonobology an interactive platform for the relationships this lesson alchemy of nature begins with a verse by william blake from his poem ogres of innocence to see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wild flower whole infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour students this verse by william blake applauds and appreciates nature and its alchemy alchemy is the trans formational mysterious quality it is a term that tells you about the change of the ordinary metals into gold it relates to this chapter where in nature it in inspires us to change from ordinary to be precious like gold to summarize the chapter alchemy of nature the writer exclaims how nature inspires and influences us not only it fulfills our needs but also guides us through our lives through different examples the writer has tried to motivate us now the alchemy of nature the textbook starts with we instinctively turn to outdoor activities and nature as a way of relaxing and enhancing nature soothes nurtures fulfills motivates whispers and commands author begins with the example of the hibiscus flower we have a hibiscus plant in our garden every fortnight it blooms throughout the day it smiles but it withers away in the evening it lives a life of full splendor the author she has moved to the examples again to the next one that of a tree also which is bare of all leaves in the cold winter months but when spring sets in it is again it regains its greenery with full majesty full of leaves flowers birds and life so on the author has given examples of the ocean its waves being gentle yet carves the rocks the small bits of grass grow in the crevices of the concrete pavement the tiny ants carry a fly that is bigger than their size on the tiny feet the poet the author has also given different examples of oysters caterpillar rainbow and so on so students these examples motivate you and inspire you seeing the changes that take place what do you understand when we read the chapter fully the hibiscus flower teaches you to live a full life the continuous flow of the ocean water that commands the rock to take a shape teaches you that however difficult the problems are you find a solution however difficult the situation is there is a way out also the tree tells you about the patience as it is rewarded with greenery and flowers the grass tells you about the solutions that you get in life army of ants teach you to be organized and focused it teaches you the values of teamwork and perseverance oysters rainbows stars clouds winds and caterpillar teaches that change is constant every passing moment finds solution to the problems nature inspires us we learn and live with nature to imbibe their values making our lives valuable students so this is indeed a motivational chapter children please read the textbook as you complete reading the text there are some writing skills put up in the end of the chapter please approach those in your notebook compose a dialogue between a bird a tree and its fruit regarding environmental changes and its effects write a news report on the environment day celebrated in your school or in your society prepare a fact file that is given in your textbook about the different plants and trees approach any one fill in the web as per the text about the qualities of nature students 
for grammar please complete the synonyms the nouns and the verbs that are in the text thank you students